neurobic exercises are like cross-training for your brain. By giving your brain new experiences that combine the physical senses, vision, smell, touch, taste and hearing, with an emotional sense, it stimulates more connections between different brain areas and this causes nerve cells to produce natural brain nutrients that dramatically help to increase your memory. It makes surrounding cells stronger and more resistant to the effects of ageing. Try these brain exercises devised by neurobiologist Lawrence Katz and Manning Rubin from the book Keep Your Brain Alive. Research has shown using the opposite side of your brain can result in rapid and substantial expansion in parts of the cortex that control and process tactile information from the hand. For the brain exercise, brush with the hand you wouldn't normally use and don't forget to open the tube and apply toothpaste in reverse. Shower with your eyes closed. Your hands will notice the very textures of your body that you don't normally notice and this will send messages back to your brain. You can try using your tactile senses to locate the taps solely by feel and adjust the temperature. Then wash, shave and so on with your eyes shut. Switch around your morning activities. Brain imaging studies show novel tasks exercise large areas of the cortex and this indicates increasing levels of brain activity in several distinct areas. This activity declines when the task becomes routine and automatic. You can try to get dressed after breakfast, walk the dog on a new route or change to a new TV or news station. Turn familiar objects upside down. When you look at things the right side up, your left verbal brain quickly labels it and diverts your attention elsewhere. When they're upside down, your right brain, however, kicks in, and this tries to interpret the shapes, colours and relationships of a puzzling picture. Which seats at the table? In most families, everyone has their own seat, but your brain benefits from new experiences. By switching seats and changing your position that you occupy, it changes who you relate to, your view of the room, and even how you reach for the salt and pepper. There's a whole study of proxemics that gets into detail of this. You probably don't remember when you learned to associate the smell of coffee with the start of the day. By linking a new odour, say vanilla, citrus or peppermint, to an activity, you'll alert new neural pathways. You can study anchoring in NLP to learn more about this phenomena. Open the car window. The hippocampus, the area of the brain that processes memories, is especially involved in associating odours, sounds and sights to construct mental maps. You can try to identify new smells and sounds on your route. Because your brain regularly relies on visual cues to distinguish between objects, using your touch to identify subtle things increases the activation in the cortical areas that process tactile information and this leads to stronger synapses. Similarly, adults who lose their sight can learn to distinguish braille because their brain devotes more pathways to process the fine touch. You can place a cup full of coins in your car's drink holder. While at a stoplight, try to determine the denomination by feel alone. You could put coins in your pocket during a walk and identify them when you stop at a corner. Forcing your brain to think of alternatives every day helps to keep it strong. For a brain exercise, pick up an ordinary object and try to think of 10 different ways that the object could be used. Supermarkets are designed to have the most profitable items at eye level. When you shop, you don't really see everything that's there. For a brain exercise, stop in any aisle and look at the shelves from top to bottom. If there's something you've never seen before, pick it up, read the ingredients and think about it. You don't have to buy it to benefit, but you've broken your routine and experienced something new. Art activates the non-verbal and emotional parts of the cerebral cortex. When you create art, you draw on parts of your brain that are interested in forms, colours and textures, as well as thought processes that are very different from the logical, linear thinking that occupies most of your day. Scientific research has repeatedly proven social deprivation has severe negative effects on overall cognitive abilities, so force yourself to engage in more social activities. When we read aloud or listen to reading, we use different brain circuits than when we read silently to ourselves, so practice alternating between them. Your olfactory system can distinguish millions of odours by activating unique combinations of receptors in your nose. There's a direct link to the emotional centre of your brain.
so new odours can evoke unexpected feelings and associations. For a brain exercise, choose a cuisine unfamiliar to you and browse the variety of novel vegetables, seasonings and packaged foods. You can check out my video on increasing creativity for more. To learn about herbs, supplements and natural treatments or to book a consultation, check out my website.